I also contacted Brandon Sidlow of Croc Attack, which is the worldwide crocodilian attack database, and he stated the documentary crew interviewed many individuals about Gustav's attacks, and many stories led to dead ends. He told me, quote, it turned out that many people had heard a film crew was in town, so suddenly everyone knew someone who had been attacked. The other issue as well is that even if 300 deaths did occur, they most likely involved different crocodiles. Brandon stated that many photos of Gustav online appeared to be of different crocodiles, not the same individual. Brandon also told me the story of something similar with a 16-foot saltwater crocodile that was killed in the Batong Lupar River of Sarawak after reportedly killing many people over the course of a few decades. The crocodile was confirmed to have killed one person, which was the person who was killed before the croc was killed, but it remains unknown how many of the previous attacks this crocodile was responsible for. Brandon says given the fact fatal attacks persist in Batong Lupar 